everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Teslong. This is their NTS150RS digital endoscope camera. Now you can check this camera out on Amazon at the time of this video for $99, and as always, I will have that link in the description below where you guys can check it out. Uh, they do a couple different versions of this camera. Uh, the main housing is the same. Uh, the camera length is different. There's a one meter, which I have, and then there's a three meter as well. You can pay a few extra bucks to get the three meter cable. Uh, but the beauty of this is from the main body, you can remove the camera cable if you damage it or need to replace it. Uh, with a longer camera, you can buy another camera from Teslong and replace it and still use the main body. Uh, so that's awesome. If you want to check out uh, all the other products that Teslong has, you can visit them at www.teslong.com. Now, some of the tech specs on this is a 3.5 inch QVGA color LCD. The video and image capturing resolution is 480 or 640 by 480. Camera diameter is 5.5 millimeters. It is a, the resolution is a 0.3 megapixel VGA resolution camera. Uh, the viewing angle is 60 degrees. Your depth of field is 30 millimeters to 60 millimeters. Your light source is going to be six adjustable high intensity LEDs. Uh, you do get a micro USB port for charging the internal rechargeable battery. You also get a micro SD card slot for saving your um, videos and or pictures uh, to, uh, you know, memory there. Your power source is that 2600 milliamp lithium battery, which is, of course, rechargeable. And your max battery life is going to be five to six hours of constant use. So you get some decent battery life out of this. Now, they put this in a nice carry case, which I uh, always appreciate. So that's awesome that they did that. Uh, and works out very well. So let me get this out of the case for you and show you what comes with everything. Okay, so here we go. A nice carry case here to keep everything in. If you want to store it and keep it in your case, you can. Get a nice user manual here. Uh, and I would hold on to this. It does show you all the stuff that I've pretty much gone over today. Uh, but it's got some uh, other stuff on it as far as uh, navigating the menu tree and stuff like that and setting up different things. Uh, so you've got all of that there. And uh, it's a good thing to hold on to just in case. Now, they also give you a nice uh, added bonus of a, a micro SD card, which a lot of people will not give you, but they do. They give you an eight gigabyte. Uh, I haven't ha have a ton of these lying around, so I didn't even open their package, but it's awesome that they include it with purchase. They give you some accessories here and then the main camera and body uh, is right here. So we'll go over that in just a second. Let me show you the accessories that come with it. And you've got a, your charge cable, which is a USB to standard micro USB cable, which is great. You also have an AV uh, out so that you can, you can put this out or what it's seeing out to like a monitor or TV, which is also a plus. And then you get some attachments as well. And we've got some different attachments here. Uh, and these attachments will screw right onto the end of the camera. You've got a magnet attachment. You've got a right angle attachment, mirror attachment, so that you can see in right angles. Uh, and then you've got a hook attachment in case you need to grab anything, uh, you know, something that fell down uh, or whatnot. You can grab, uh, you know, maybe in a car engine, anything. Uh, maybe this magnet would be good for working on car engines if you need to pick up a uh, bolt or a screw that you uh, dropped or something like that that you can't reach. So there's a lot of applications for these, and they screw right onto the end of the camera. Now, before we get into the actual camera itself, we'll take a look at the body. On the front here, you're going to have your main unit and a power button. Holding down the power button, it'll tell me I don't have an SD card in, so I'm going to want to power this off real quick. On the uh, left-hand side, you're going to see this flap, and you're going to be able to look at two different things. You have your charge port here, and then you have your micro SD card slot as well. Uh, so I happen to have one ready and to go here. It's a 32 gigabytes micro SD card. And I will put this in if I don't put it in the wrong way. Behind the camera, everything seems to be flipped here. So let's get this in so that we can take some pictures for you guys. So that's where your uh, memory will go and your charging will happen. And when you charge, you're going to get an LED that comes up uh, that is in uh, red, and then it'll turn blue when you're fully charged. So you've got that. So let's power this on. I like the screen. It's 3.5 inches, uh, and it does great. I mean, it's not the uh, most insane view that you get, uh, but it definitely does the job, and images come up pretty crisp and clear. Uh, you've got a record button here. You've got your brightness out for your LEDs on the end, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, you've got uh, a mode button uh, either movie or picture 
or playback. So as you can see in the top here, I'm in picture. So if I was to hit record right now, I'd take a picture. And if I want to move over to movie, it changes to the camera. And if I want to play stuff back, I can do that right from there. Now, if we go in, uh, up and is going to be your, uh, there's a couple settings here you've got on the end of this camera. They have a cap. So let's take that off so that you guys can actually see what I'm looking at here. And this is the end of the camera. You're going to see on the end of that camera that you have some LEDs there as well. Uh, if I want to adjust the LEDs, you've got this brightness button and you've got different levels of brightness for your LEDs. Very easy to activate. Now up is going to zoom and down is going to rotate. So if we were to look at something, which I'll do, I'm going to see this Kingston card here. Let's take a look at it. So right now I'm zoomed in on the Kingston 8 gigabytes right now. And if I can't get any closer to that and I want to zoom more, I just have to push up and I get four levels of zoom there. And if I want to freeze anything at any time, I just hit OK. And then if I move the camera, the image stays static and I can view it right on the screen. So they did an awesome job with that. Um, and then if you hit OK again, you'll be back to live view here uh, and then we'll go back to our regular. Now, if you want to flip the image, you can also flip it 360 degrees and backwards and forwards as well. And if I want to get it, say, reversed and I want to actually freeze that, I can freeze that and I can take a look. And not bad. I, I, the quality on it is, is, is not, you know, it's not going to be super HD or anything like that, but it's very workable. Uh, this is a very lightweight unit uh, to be holding. It's got a kind of a nice grip on the bottom here for your right hand. Uh, and the screen does a good job. It washes out a little bit in the um, verticals, uh, but not the horizontals, as you can see. So they did a pretty cool job on it. Uh, again, on the bottom, there's a reset hole. And actually on the top as well, uh, they have a a nice auxiliary LED in case you're working in a darker environment. So they thought of that as well. Uh, overall, they did a really great job with this. Now you can see the threads on the end of this, and this is where your attachments will go. Uh, again, they're all threaded. Uh, if you need a hook or a magnet, you can easily put them on there. Uh, so if we go into settings real quick, uh, you've got date and time, you've got your timestamp, whether you want that on uh, your language, and they've got languages for several different, if I can get into it, whoops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Uh, English, French, looks like Chinese and uh, Dutch, Italian, and tons, uh, you know, uh, Spanish. So you've got a bunch there that you can use uh, auto off uh, which I keep hitting the wrong button you got to hit the OK button uh, which I you know after 10 minutes I think that's a good idea to have a 10 minute save your battery you can format the card you can system reset and of course you can check your version number as well so this is version 2.0 uh, great, great job by Teslong. I love this. You can get up and close, snake down wherever you need to if you're working in a car engine or uh, piping or anything like that. And if I wanted to uh, turn the LEDs on to make things a little bit brighter, I can. Like if I'm in a darker spot there and I wanted to turn on the LEDs, it does get brighter and I can zoom in and then I can actually just freeze it and I can take a look at it uh, if I need to. Uh, they did a really good job on this. I'm definitely giving this one a thumbs up. This is a great uh, camera. The fact that you can replace the actual camera uh, for longer length ones is awesome as well. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is unscrew it, uh, remove it, and then uh, you've got a five pin connector there and then just uh, place your new camera in and screw it back down. I think Teslog did a great job. Uh, this was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this inspection camera, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe and I will check you guys out on the next video.